welcome to Mercer County's 8th Annual Adoption Day Celebration. My name is Kathleen Wardlow and I'm honored to be with you this morning to celebrate the many families who have opened their hearts and homes throughout the year to so many deserving children. Because it was a need. It was a need for our granddaughter. She needed to be with somebody with structure. We didn't want her to go into the system. And, and we loved her. We had built a relationship with her when she was uh, in foster care. And uh, we loved her. And um, so we wanted to, after we found out that uh, my daughter wasn't going to get her back, well, we did want her. So that's what made us decide. It means a lot because now she's legit a part of our family. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is for real. It's just like it's our <laughs> child now. Not a granddaughter, she's yeah. ours. Yeah, she's ours. Yeah, so. to raise. Yeah, it means everything. It always seems fitting to me that our adoption day comes right before Thanksgiving because we give thanks today for these beautiful children who are here and we give thanks to the adults that are giving them a family and a future. There, nothing more, uh, nothing more wonderful than what we celebrate today. And I say thank you, not as one who's been adopted, but I say thank you as someone who, again, has felt the, the pain of walking through a period of uncertainty. And some of these children are so small that I pray that they would never have known that there was a period of uncertainty in their lives, that they will be able to look at you and say, that's my mama and that's my daddy. And that would be the great blessing that they will know, regardless of race, regardless of region, regardless of one's religion. Adoptions do not simply happen. They are accomplished through a collaboration of several governmental agencies and volunteers all linked together with devoted and generous families who are willing to open their doors and their hearts in order to make a difference in the life of a child. She's related to my daughter. Karen is her half-sister. And then we found out that her half-brother was in foster care as well, and we decided to take him in too. And we knew that we wanted her for a really long time, so it was no, no doubt about it. There is some special music that is being made today, and I am happy to be part of it. Uh, Mr. Redding, Ms. Redding, I grew up on R&B. Motown, anybody know what that is? All right, and one of my favorite songs is Songs in the Key of Life by Stevie Wonder. And what he said was, the world is in need of love today. I would argue that Dionne Warwick's cry that what the world needs now is love still resonates in today's world. And Marvin Gaye's challenge to us all to save the children is equally important in a technological age. I would like to further argue that the best evidence of society's chance for a better future is reflected in the loving actions of the adoptive parents in this audience. This message of love and hope is especially evident today through the actions of strangers and relatives opening their hearts and their arms to the children that are not biologically theirs. But I remember being in a situation where the only power I had was to act out. So I did things that later today I do regret, things that I wish I had never done but already had been done. And the family that adopted me, I just, I just did things, I misbehaved. And one day I did something to the degree which warranted police action. And my father was notified by the authorities and he said, do you want me to press charges? And he said, no. And so he sat me down and I remember this just like it was yesterday and he put me on his leg and he said, why would you do this to me, son? I told you that I loved you. I told you that no matter what, I would never let you go. And I'm telling you today, no matter what you do, I will never let you go. And that resonated in my spirit like something I had never felt before because I had been in situations where people promised things 
and never kept their promises. But finally, I was in a situation where the man in my life said to me, I will never let you go.